the Spotlight, and I'm Pastor Dan, and we're thankful that you're watching these. I hope they're making sense as we talk about the picture of God through the last day events. And now we've come to the end of the thousand years, and we begin to have the final events of this earth's history. God has not given up on this world. He created this world, and he had a plan for it, and he's going to redeem it. He's not going to lose this world. Yes, we think we go away to heaven for a thousand years. Other Christians believe the millennium is here, but we believe it's with Jesus in heaven. He prepared a place for us. We're not just going up here for seven years. We're going for a thousand years. But then it says this holy city is going to come down out of the sky. And God is going to wake everyone up. This is the resurrection to damnation from John 5, 28 and 29. Revelation 20 verse 5 says the rest of the dead live not again until the thousand years were over. So now they come back to life. Satan was bound. There was nobody to tempt. Now that there's people again, he is loosed, loosened. So now he begins to mobilize. There is the city of New Jerusalem. God is there. Everybody is there. Satan has hated God for thousands of years. He's been in this blood oath battle for the soul of the universe and to win the victory and there is God right there and he goes around and there's Hitler and Napoleon and Idi Amin and Bin Laden and all the other terrible people of our world all the mafias and all the Boko Haram and uh, Africa ISIS they're all there and Satan lines them all up so this is our chance we have a lot more than them we have more power they're right there they're not going to fight back and then God pauses everything and has this final judgment we talked about a few weeks ago. It's called the Great White Throne Judgment, Revelation 29 to 15 in that range. And God begins to show some of the scenes that we haven't had a chance. The artists have tried, the actors have tried, Mel Gibson and the movie people have all tried. But no movie is going to match what we will see. This will be virtual reality, the reality. God made the ultimate video when that was happening, and now he's going to show it. Huge screen, the whole world's going to see it. Every eye will see Jesus coming. Every eye will see this. And every being who has ever lived will be there to watch it. Here it is, in perfect color. Jesus coming and shout, crowding, crowd shouting, crucify him. The Last Supper, taking all of our sins in the garden. We'll watch how that happens. Christ fighting the battle there in the garden. Sweat coming out. Stayed with it, didn't give up. Went to all the trials all through the night. Then the purple robe, and then the whipping, and then the crown of thorns, carrying the cross up the hill, being smashed into the ground with nails in your hands, all of that. People begin to cry. People are singing Amazing Grace, the old rugged cross, how great thou art. They begin to bow down to Jesus. Greatest story ever told. I respect the other religions, but no religion has a story like the story of Jesus. God come down himself and do that. In every other religion, you do something for God. Here in this religion, God does it for us. You have to do something to bring the gods back to you. Jesus comes down and brings us back to God. It's different. And we believe that the wicked will have to acknowledge that God was right. And then all the angels from heaven, they're bowing. And the angels who were there for thousands of years, they were a part of it, could have stayed, could have been on that side, could be living forever, chose the wrong side, they have to bow. They were wrong. They know the cross. They were there. All the demons were there. They did the best they could to keep Christ in the grave, but they couldn't keep him in. The stone was rolled away. Jesus won the victory. And in the back, Satan has to bow. And this is the moment God is waiting for where every lie has been answered, every question has been answered, and everybody in the universe agrees the Lord is righteous in all that he does. God is good all the time. God is love. Settle, settle forever. And the universe is safe because everyone has agreed to it. We won't take time to go through all the rest of it right now. Come back for a spotlight next week, next time. But thank you for being with us. I hope this has stirred your faith one more time. God bless you. 
Thank you for watching Spotlight. We're so excited about this. We hope that you'll subscribe and so you'll get all of them. And please just forward it on to others and tell other people about it. And let's just see what kind of an audience we can get for these messages of Spotlight. God bless you.